This video will show you how to enter cases for your ABOS Part 2 case list. To begin, log on to your ABOS Part 2 dashboard by clicking the login link and entering your username and password. Once you are logged in, you will be brought to this page. The ABOS recommends reviewing the Part 2 information packet prior to proceeding. When you are ready to move forward, click on this link to begin the case collection process. The first thing to do is add any hospitals which you will be performing surgery during your six month case collection period. To do that, click on the scribe link on the left hand menu. Once you are in scribe, click on add edit hospitals. Type in the hospital name and click on add hospital. Once you are done, Click on the ABOS Candidate Dashboard link at the top of the page. Once you are back on the ABOS Candidate Dashboard, you will see a link with a username and password where you or a staff member can begin entering the information of upcoming cases. Click on this link and enter this username and password. After entering your login information, you will be brought to the patient registration page. Here, you can select the hospital or surgery center that you entered in the scribe section and all other information pertaining to the patient. Emails will be sent from the ABOS to patients so they can enter their patient reported outcomes. Patients who are under the age of 12 will automatically be opted out. You can also opt out patients who do not want to participate or in which you do not have their email address. Once you are finished entering information, click on the Submit button. Once submitted, the page will refresh and you can begin entering additional cases. After you complete the surgery, you will need to go back in and enter the additional fields for the case list. To do that, click on the Scribe link. Once in Scribe, click on Edit Case and then on the case number for the case you want to edit. On this page, you can enter the rest of the information for the case performed. Once all information has been entered, click on Save Case. After you have completed all of your surgical cases for the entire six month collection period, Click on Finalize List. Once your case list is finalized, you will need to print out the case list and have your medical records department sign the first page. The application cannot be completed without a finalized case list. 